What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, and we're back on the wonderful world of Medieval Dynasty. So I looked into the XP thing. It's here, down here, before we can get the stamina thing. So I'm thinking I'm going to take Hunting Knowledge so we get an extra bonus point when we level up. From what I can tell. Um, yeah. We're also really heavy. Uh, these have... Let's see. We're low on some food. Alright, that made a slider. Alright, we have to head back towards our house, and I want to start building the uh, hunting workshop or whatever. Start getting things together. Cook all our meat. Things like that. Let's see if we can get this fucking done. Alright, we're gonna keep going this way. Oh, it's been a long week of work and it's only Wednesday. You guys ever feel like that? You, you just, like, you work a full-time job all week and it's just like, ugh. Feels like it should be Friday. Uh, we still have to get a successful flirting action. Been having issues with that. Maybe have to travel to another town. I could sh travel up to these two. Might be worth it. Um, yeah. I'm going to hit up the shop. And try and get some money. Real quick. Alright. We have spears that we can sell. Sell those. They are quite heavy. Um, we have 21 fur. I'm going to sell 10 of it. Save us on some weight there. And then we have a little bit of meat. I'm going to sell 10 of it. And were you selling anything interesting? Bucket. Milking goats and cows. Uh, not really. And I think you sell food? No, you just sell eggs. Okay. How many arrows do we currently have? We have... Uh, four. Okay. So we're going to rely a little bit on our traps. Um, I'm going to cook up this meat. We obviously have to wash ourselves because we're now all of a sudden dirty. And as we go... We do want to get the small fishing trap, because I think that's very useful. Alright. We're going to wash up. We're going to go over to our storage over here and store anything that's not needed for day-to-day. -day. Um, such as our fur or leather. Uh, the wheat. Uh, what else? What else? Leather. The iron hoe we don't need right now. The scythe we don't need right now. And the crew we don't need right now. Okay. So now, building. Uh, we're looking at crafting. We want the workshop. Eight logs. Quite heavy. Not a lot of trees in the area anymore due to me cutting everything down. So make sure we get that done. We also have to drink some water. I was hoping that was going to be a berry bush. So I was hoping it was going to be four. Two, three, four. All right, we're a little heavy. 
crafting workshop. It's actually not as big as I thought it was going to be. And I'm thinking, I like using these roads to keep us close to town. So when we're ready to kind of move forward on things, we can do it. I want the workshop to be located well. There we go. Let's add the sticks that will lie in our load. Alright, let's get our water. Let's get some more logs. Shouldn't take too many more. From what I can tell, I think it's like seven. Just from like a quick count in my head of how this game works. Timber. More feathers. Clear some land with our hands. Always gonna need sticks anyways. Alright, so we got a crafting level. Craftsman, faster crafting, sewing, fur. I'm going to take crafting knowledge just because more points. Cooking handy, man. Of house modules. Faster cooking is actually pretty good. <coughs> Apologies for my coughing. We don't need that big of a tree right now, but let's get it done. Oh, we have some berry bushes right by home. Very nice. And then from here, what you do is you go here. I believe it's here and you can buy the bolts. Sewing, I think is going to be very important. For our workshop. And then we're going to have to get some more straw. And then I believe we're also missing... Oh, I thought we got that. We're close. We need that next. over here and pick our, our reeds. I think getting getting our, our resource style buildings up first before we get people into the town is better. We definitely don't want to pull people in until after winter too. Alright, so now we're actually leveling up in skill points and stuff. I don't understand this skill that determines how good you are at skill points from activity. Oh, I so see you get bonus. Oh, okay, so it's just faster. I see. Bigger fishing net. Lower food and water, more health. Iron liver. Temperature tolerance. I'm going to take. Um. I'm going to take Fisherman, which is going to allow us when we have fishing nets to do more. I think that's important. We 
rebuild some stamps so we can do this faster. So here we can build wooden tools. Okay. Recurvis cursive <laughs> recursive bow. Why isn't it recurve? Stone tools. The rowing rock. Stone axe. Stack of fifty arrows. And a chest. Wait, if this was the workshop, what is What is this then? The hunting lodge do. A working building for hunting wild animals for meat and leather or for gathering blueberries. It also has a workstation for crafting simple hunting tools. Oh, so you can assign people to it. <laughs> Interesting. So once we unlock that, though, we can buy these. Or can we buy them now? Maybe? Oh, I don't have enough technology yet. Well, we're gonna sleep. Last day of summer. Let's go check our trap over here. We have caught a rabbit. All right, let's go out hunting a little bit. We need one more point. Which is not terrible. I mean, it's acceptable. We can also start making our way to Denica if we want. Get that quest done and then sleep and be able to teleport back. So there's a bridge here if we wanted to go to Baratica. Okay. A lot of options. Be careful of wolves. And if I took this road, this leads up north. We really wanted to. I'm not after going north right now. Very pretty game. I mean, they, d they did a good job with the looks. That's an important part of these type of games. So, like, actually immerse yourself into the whole medieval thing. You gotta make your game look pretty decent. No, archery, on the other hand. Still confusing. I like how I can see my straw hat, too. Keep my eye out if there's anything I want to hunt. Alright, so we're at, uh, we want to take the road up the river. Or up, not down, towards the river. The perk for less stamina for running also seems like it'd be good. Okay, my turning is actually what's causing all the footsteps. I was losing my mind. Footsteps need some work. Which is fine, but need some work. This is actually a good area to build a, a village, too. Problem is trees would be emptied out very, quite quickly. I wonder if this village builds its palisades over the season. And looking at my journal, we still have to wait.
All right, we're going up into the forest, which scares the crap out of me. As you guys know, last time we were in this village, the guy had not seen wolves in years, and I got attacked by one right outside his house. <sighs> that did happen. Doesn't look like the palisade is up. Maybe it is. I can't tell. Well, we got our hunting. And our arrows back. Another boar right there I could take down, but honestly. Oh, they did build the palisade. Nice. That's cool. Uh, real fast while we're here. Everybody's inside their houses, like terrified of wolves. Needs leather. Okay. Remember that boar we didn't just hunt? We're gonna go hunt it. <laughs> uh, I came from this way. Rebuild full stamp. I'm out of arrows. Well, that's unfortunate, but now we can actually build arrows, so. Because I can come here. We were able to get the hunting lodge. So I should be able to buy a stack of stone arrows. I don't feel like building a bow. I do want this eventually. That requires 500 points though. I don't know if like when you get people in town doing the hunting, you get more points. I have no idea. But now that I know the limitations of the bow, it's a little bit easier to use. Find Kinga near the farm. She takes care of the sheep, but behave yourself. Thank you. You can see, like, you can buy the. Interesting. You have clothes. What do you have? Okay. Feeding for animals. You have a minute. Told it to move. Oh. You know, like us talking about that. Didn't seem like I had any opportunity to flirt, though. 
So from here, we can either go down here and get a fishing spear or go back. I vote we go back and get this quest done. He will be giving us... I don't know. Something, maybe. Flirting is not easy in this game. I'll tell you that much. But now that we can build arrows, I mean, that's a pretty big deal. I like how there's deer everywhere now. Crazy fox. Start running back. We got, we got what we needed. Um... Some roast meat. Very good. Eat. You live today, Fox. I'm too lazy. Go away. I like that they howl so you actually know they're coming. Run! I'm glad that I didn't like build my base near here. So I had to deal with wolves. So the mountain over here seems like wolves and hunting expeditions. That's good to know. So here. There's also a big lake that we could go and build there if we really wanted to. Does anybody know? Once you get people in your village, do you get more technology points? Because 500 seems ridiculous. To be able to fish. Like. I guess you really need linen thread and stuff anyways, but. I do like that the palisade was built over the season. Pretty cool. And I think in fall we might be able to move on to our next event for Urigos. Urigos. So that's good. We're currently not farming. I think that will affect us for the winter. Um, probably just try and survive. I'm going to cut down wood and make firewood. Try and survive outside and get, you know, buildings built, things like that. I think it was the also build up dynasty rep. Things should get easier for talking to people. You're not the one I actually need to talk to. I thought he was the one. Our win. Here you go. Basically, we're telling him that the girl liked him and he just gave us onion seeds. Which I don't see in our inventory. Interesting, but we have them. We have to wait for the next day. Our ghost we're still waiting on. And we still have to flirt. What is this symbol? Show me your wares. Oh, he now sells things? Like a water skin. And a bag. Oh, it's just telling me that I have to wait a bit. Okay. I swear the gooses are going to try and kill me one of these days.
working the fields. You got any hunting tips? Got any hunting tips? Working the fields is tough. I just want to make sure that like our rep is up. Working the fields is hard. Nice weather. Hope you're doing all right. He doesn't care. Okay. You're married. You're married. I think that's your kid. Gossip. I keep telling them to move. Any gossip? Show me your wares. Onion seeds. Planted in the spring, collected in the summer. You're teeny tiny. All right. Well, let's go build some arrows. Especially because, you know, we're going to need them. Uh, we have to cook up all our food. And get ready for winter coming. It's going to be fall in a second. Stone tools. A stone pike. Interesting. Wooden tools. You can build bolts, but you can't build arrows here? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, no. Right here. Sticks, rocks, feathers. We need five rocks and 50 feathers. God damn. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> we have six. Put the log away, put some rocks away. Uh, we have three coins. Yeah, we're going to have to make some money. That way we can, uh, wash up. That way we can, you know, freaking buy more technology. Because we're going to need the bird technology for feathers. How much is the bird technology? Uh, we're looking at 80. Okay. How many sticks do we have currently? We have 53. That's 53. How many sticks we got now? 87. That's enough. We're going to go sell 90 sticks. Real fast, see if we can craft anything. Nothing I want to craft. Hello, you. Show me your wares. Uh, can you just buy all 90 of my sticks? Thanks. Good day. Technology. Hunting. Hunting lodge. Bird trap. Done. Traps. Need sticks and rocks. Okay. We're going to have to get the skill for more traps there. And if I want rocks, I come up here. I got to look for a specific type of ground. There it is. Rocks can usually be found on this type of ground. There. All right. I want to be able to see the bird trap, to be honest. There we go. All right. We caught another rabbit. Okay. Someday we'll catch a bird. 
I've actually not seen many birds. So if we want to come over here, we can put away some leather. Okay. Uh, looking at technology, our building is at 113 points. Get a woodshed eventually. Learn to shovel. Uh, here we could learn bow, wooden campfire. Farming, we're not even close in the workshop. We can learn a stack of 10 bolts. Uh, sewing is 100 points under crafting, so let's just cook up our meat and see if we get the crafting. Real fast. We had wheat. Can't do anything to that, right? We're just going to cook it up real quick. This should be getting us a good amount of points. The more we craft, the better. We can get the sewing station up. That would be great. Can I open my inventory when we're doing this? No. Unfortunate. Just cooking up roasted meat. So much. I mean, this should keep us alive a lot longer. Good storage of meat. I should, during the fall, definitely go out and get some berries and uh, things like that. Might help us out a little bit. They keep berries and uh, healing herbs and things like that on hand. Because none of that's going to be available in the winter. Hunting is going to be our only food source during the winter. I don't know if it affects fishing. So based on technology, what is our crafting at now? We have enough. There we go. New building. Eight logs. We're starting to get to that point where we've cleared out so much land that trees are starting to get a little bit more finicky. Uh, we do need to eat. Five should do it. Fine, this is only going to give us three logs. Good maple. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. So the type of tree determines how many. One here. Worth. And no matter how many logs we get, the better it's going to be. Because we're going to need logs to build the goddamn thing, too. I was hoping I could swing in. Let's see, real fast. I'm going to drop 31 sticks. Honestly, did not help much. Uh, uh, wooden spears, we're gonna drop them. A little bit more mobile now. Uh, crafting, crafting, crafting. Build a woodshed. Yeah, so you can make people actually gather. That's cool. Hmm. 
Eh, it's quite expensive, actually. Alright, real fast, grab our sticks, put it into the building. Oh, we have clay near our house. Interesting, I never noticed that. But we're getting a basic town kind of going. Six logs total. Timber. Actually, it might be more because they have this stupid front thing. Yep. Put down another maple. Uh, we also have to make sure that we can make another axe. Sticks and two rocks. Beautiful. I actually don't want to waste my time on a pine tree because I know what I need. And break. It's going to break on this wing. <laughs> there it is. It's alright. Building an axe. More skill points. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering how tough, tough this winter is going to be. There we go. Go get our straw. Drink some water, get our straw. And then we're in a good spot. Then we have to buy, like, if you looked at I had technology here, there's a lot. So maybe making this stuff might be better uh, for surviving winter at a tavern. Allows them to cook. Oh my god. <laughs> now she moved down. Hunting, I still find is ridiculous amount of points is 500. Hunting lodge, worker. Yeah, you basically put a worker in there and they do everything. Okay. So we'll have to hire people after the first winter. I think we have to survive the first winter on our own. It may be very boring. I'll find out. If it's very boring, I probably do one of those, you know, big skips where I'm just going to sit inside and wait for it. Honestly. curious if resources come back like if, if those reeds will grow back on their own after some time and if trees will come back It'd be very interesting to see oh 
darn it. So we would need to get, obviously, some fabric. And then you come over here and you tailor stuff. Like shoes. For boots. Yeah, there's a lot here. Simple bag. A water skin. Leather and linen thread. Just leather. Build a bag. Jesus. All right. Let's sleep till fall. But we're going to end here. Thank you guys for joining me for today's episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Demo. Have a wonderful day.